Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight I'm gonna give you a little tip on how I store my hooks. I do a lot of fishing in bad weather and it seems to have taken a toll on my tackle. It <clears throat> I like to fish in bad weather. I, anytime I get a chance to fish I go. So this is what I used to store my tackle in. Right here. Just your basic Plano style uh, plastic box. So, uh, back in May is the last time I used this box. I have got about $40, $50 worth of hooks in here. So, this is what happened. This thing, being in the bottom of the boat during the tournament, it was raining. Uh, come back. I always store these things open, let them air out. Next day I come back, close them up, put them back in the tackle bag. Well, as you can see, these are not cheap hooks. These things, they're high quality hooks, what I like to fish with. These guys are toast. Uh, they are rusted, just nasty looking. These are some kale, cheaper kale hooks. Like I said, I'm not going to mention the names of these brands, except for some of the more common ones that you know you buy at Walmart. These hooks, you can see, they are they're 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 awful. They're trash. Not the quality of the hook as far as performance, but just now they're trash. Uh, let's see. Here's here's the worst one. I mean, this is a brand new hook, and you can see it's orange with rust. Got these. Kale hooks over here. These are your typical just eagle claw hooks that you can get at Walmart. Just the kale hooks. They're gone. Uh, these here. These fare, fared the best out of all of them. Um, like I said, I'm not going to mention the name, but y'all look at it. Y'all know who makes this. If you do any catfishing, watch a lot of videos. Y'all know who makes this hook. It fared the best. This These hooks were in this tackle box the exact same time as the rest of them. Um, yeah, they were in here at the exact same time, been here just as long, same weather, same treatment. They, they fare fairly well. Uh, see, some of them have some rust around the barb, around the point, up on the eyelet. Also, these here, these are the little eagle claw hooks you can get at Walmart, treble hooks I use for stingers if I need them. I'm fishing with really big baits. They fared very well. But yeah, so far I got thirty, forty dollars worth of hooks in here You're going in the trash. Not what you want. With that being said, this is how I store my hooks now. Y'all know what this is? It's just your basic pool noodle. You can buy these for a dollar fifty cents when they're on sale in the summer. How I get most of mine, because I like this, you know how this page goes, I like to get them for free. So the way I find them is after, let's say, you know, busy weekend on the lake, you go fishing on Sunday, the kids out there playing on the lake, people leave them laying on the dock. Wind gets up, they fall in the water. Next thing you know, they're on a bank on the other side of the cove. Just scoot over there, pick them up in a good day, while you're fishing, you might see 10 of these. Pick them up. They come in handy for a lot of things. But how I like to use them, I'll take my circle hooks. I always snell them and pre tie about a four foot leader. Then I can adjust that later, trim it down, however long I want to run it. But more than likely, on the other end, I'm going to cut that off. So, what I like to do, that is take and I tie four, five, six overhand loops knots just tighten it down and make a big wad there as you can see it's just a big knot then I take my hook hold this in one hand and just really just push straight down till it goes through then I just rotate it on through so the, the curved hook comes through push it down to the eyelet then I'll rotate it sideways pull it through. Now, if you pull on this too hard, you'll just pull it straight out. 
when you get down to where your knot is, just go slow. Always pull it through the first hole. I pull it over my tag line there. And I just wrap it around. Just like so. You can make these as tight as you want. Loose the you know, long the tighter you make it, the better it'll hold. You just take and push your hook straight down through it. And there you go. Straighten that up, push it together. Make sure you don't uh, nick your line with your bar with your put or your point as you're putting it through. That could cost you later on. And this will work with just about any size of hook, type of hook, whichever one you want to do. There's another thing I do. If I know I want to use, if I want to actually pre make different sizes. I'll go ahead and tie on my, my barrel swivel. And I'll take just your basic aluminum final side nail. I'll put it through my eye, or the eye on the barrel swivel. Push it up to the top. And you just take the same thing. With these, with the, when you got the nail in it, you can actually just uh, pop the nail in there and wrap it around. You got your little one off circle hook. Pop it right in there. Here's another big one to show you how I did it with just the knots. There you can see, got my big water knot there. And just push it straight down in, rotate it out, pull down to the eyelet. Rotate it sideways and pull through. That way it makes a smaller hole as you pull through. For some reason it does. Pull this on through. Just inside. Fold your... I'm going to pull that out a little bit just to show you something. But uh, pull that through. And wrap it. Somebody's outside having fun with their with their ARs and it's almost midnight. Not like a good time. Anyway, just push this on through. Just like so. Now you see you got that big tag line hanging out that causes a little bit of a tangle. Just take a pair of scissors, snap that off. That prevents you from having a mess there at the end. And then whenever you take these out. You can reuse this thing until it looks like a piece of Swiss cheese. And like I said, if you get them for free, it's not a big loss. Once you chew it up so bad that you can't get hooks in it, just toss it and start over again. This piece right here is about, about a foot long. You can get about 15 hooks in it. And you see i got about 12 in this one. And I can put a few more on it. Works pretty good. And I put these in a, I have an old canvas bag that's, falling apart and I'll throw these in there they don't really get tangled up and then whenever I get home I just set them out let them dry pat them off with a towel because this line will kind of start to get a film on it this is a Berkeley trialing big game 50 pound it'll start to get like a film on it I don't know how bad that affects it but it looks bad and I don't want to take a chance especially if I'm fishing a tournament that, that line may break when you keep them out and you don't put them in something that holds moisture, then it seems to have la these hooks seem to last longer. And like I said, the hooks aren't cheap if you start buying high quality hooks. These are, you know, they're not awful expensive, but when you buy as many as I do, it adds up every time. Another thing you can do if you do want to use one of these, you can use a site that I really like, Amazon Prime. Is a good one, but I like um, Allied Express. If you got time and you can wait for the shipping, you can get the silica packets like you find in electronics. You can buy a hundred of them for I think four dollars and free shipping. Oh, throw some of those in here with your hooks, that'll help you in the long run to keep that out. But every time you use it and you get out and it's moisture out there, replace those 
take your hooks out, lay them out, let them dry, throw those, replace those silica packets because they fill up and they're no good after they are exposed to moisture one time. And that'll add up to more money later on. Um, let's see here. This right here, I had a friend that worked at a mill. And this is a spool that they wrap different types of yarn, string around to dye it. Apparently they spool this thing up with whatever they're or whatever they make in the mill. And it's, they use it to dye the ooh, string or whatever it is that they use yarn. Dye goes in. Well, anyway, this thing makes a really good hook holder. You take, and it's basically the same principle. You just take, hook your, you take and uh, tie the end of it or your barrel sinker or barrel swivel through the little roofing nail. Wrap it around. Uh, you put your hook in, wrap it around, and then when you get to the end, just find a place to put that through there, and it holds it really well. So if you guys can get a hold of these, if you know somebody can get you these, get them. They work really well, and they, you can see it, I wouldn't stick my hand down in there, but they allow air to circulate. Everything dries out a lot faster. They're hard to come by unless you know a place to get them. They work really well. But... That's about it. Now it's Christmas time, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Holidays. Hope everybody has a great new year. I'll make another video soon. Uh, see y'all later. God bless.